Hi, today I will present you my new electronic circuit that is based on the new WizNet platform board, the WizWiki W7500. The new electronic circuit is an updated version of my previous web radio player. The name of my new circuit is Web Radio Player 2 and is based on a 32-bit ARM microcontroller. This circuit is constituted only by two boards that is powered with 5 volt DC from the USB port. The ISCAST station information is printed on the USB serial port and can be viewed on, the, on any serial terminal software such as Termite 3.1. The first board, this one, is the WizWiki W7500 and it's based on the W7500 microcontroller, this one, this one. This board has 48 kilobytes of RAM that up to 32 kilobytes of RAM can be used from the Ethernet transceiver, this, this one. The rest uh, 16 kilobytes of RAM is used as system RAM memory. The board is based on the RM, ARM uh, Cortex M0 and it is clocked at 48 MHz. On the same boards there is the IP101G, this one, fast Ethernet transceiver with its connector, this one. And the Ethernet cable is here. There is also the LPC11U3X Cortex uh, microcontroller that is used as a USB mass storage device for drag and drop programming the W7500 microcontroller firmware. The LPC 11U3X is also used as a USB serial port for the W7500 microcontroller. The board pin out this connector and this follows the Arduino Uno pin out order and name. The name of its pin is D0, D1, D2, D3, just like the Arduino Uno. But uh, this board works at 3.3 volt instead of 5 volt that works Arduino Uno. I read, I read on uh, the Wiznet website that the W7500 uh, pins seems to be 5 volt tolerate, but uh, I wouldn't risk to connect these pins to a 5 volt module without a voltage level shifter. The second board, this one, is uh, the VS1053 MP3 decoder module. This module de decodes the most uh, famous audio formats such as MP3, WAV, AAC and MIDI tracks. The navigation of the web radio stations is done by this, these two push buttons. This one is for the next web radio station and this one for the previous web radio station. For a hardware simplicity, there is no LCD display on the circuit. The web radio information, radio station name, bitrate, channel, etc. is printed on the USB serial port to your favorite serial uh, terminal software, like the Termite 3.1. <coughs> the RAM buffer is not big enough to cover big delays in data flows.
from the IceCast server to this circuit, but uh, I saw in practice that uh, if your internet connection is fast enough, your web radio player can play audio streams up to 320 kilobits per second without problem. Yeah, I will do a short uh, demonstration with 18 predefined IceCast streaming servers with bit rates from uh, 48 kilobits per second up to 320 kilobits per second. So, I will press the pause now and we will continue with part 2. We are back again. I have opened the Termite 3.1 serial terminal uh, software okay I have choose the COM port COM5 with uh, 120 bits per second okay now I will do a reset to the WYSIWYGI board and see the playing the first uh, and uh, we will hear the first web radio station it's getting address from the my ADSL router okay it gets the address the IP address and uh, the web radio player has been connected to the first IceCut web streaming server that plays this is the first the first web radio station and it plays a heavy metal uh, from Paris let's see with 48 kilobits per second now let's go to the second web radio station The second with 64 kilobits per second here. Okay, the second, the second web radio station. The name of the station is here. The audio streaming is in AAC form. Let's go to the third. The third. Fourth, 64 kilobits also. One hundred twenty-eight kilobits per second. MP3 streaming. One hundred twenty-eight. Also, here. One hundred ninety-two kilobits per second here. Very good. Two hundred fifty-six kilobits per second here. The same bit rate. It doesn't play very well this web radio station because the connection from the web radio server, the connection from the IceCast server to my web radio player is not very well. Three hundred twenty kilobits per second. Baroque classical music. Three hundred twenty kilobits per second, also MP three streaming.
and jazz music. 320 kilobits per second also. That's it. Thank you for watching. Bye.